How has the Iraq war coverage by mainstream media caused a distrust of the ability of the media to give us the real news? And I'm going to say to the questioner who chose not to sign this, <laughs> um, with a straight face, to please be my guest. Fly commercial tonight on Royal Jordanian, uh, New York to Amman. And then from Amman, you take a Fokker 100 commercial flight into Baghdad International. Try not to notice the corkscrew landing you have to make to avoid the SAMs, the SAM missiles, on the way into the airport. Hire yourself a good security person and get some body armor for the drive from the airport to the hotel of your choice in Baghdad. And please, I beg you, go do what we do. On your way, perhaps stop in Germany and visit my friend Kimberly Dozier, who now has two titanium legs. Or perhaps on your way to Kennedy, visit my friend Bob Woodruff up in Westchester County where he is recovering. Do you sense some emotion on this? What do you think we're doing? And this is a product of the internet. I read it every day. Where, where do we hide the real news? Do we have a closet in New York? Do we keep it behind a curtain in Baghdad? Don't you think our bureau chief would like to go outside today as part of his job? What do you think Woodruff and Dozier were doing? Uh, when they both got injured. Bob Woodruff was traveling with an Iraqi unit trying to tell the good news. We're told is out there. We can't leave our compound. So as a, a part-time veteran of those streets and covering that story, for all of you represented by this unsigned question, please know that that's the answer. And get visa and go. And blog about it. Tell us all what you find and how it differs from what you're seeing on the mainstream media.